Election season is finally here. Tonight, we continue to take you county by county to show you what to expect on ballots in your hometown. Our Alex Hines has a look at the races in Gilmer County. In just 11 days, West Virginians everywhere, including here in Gilmer County, will head to the polls to cast their vote. And there will be many choices for residents of the county, since it's divided into two state senate districts and two House of Delegates districts. But in Glenville, common wisdom is that it's not those races or even the congressional races that are driving people to the polls. Both residents and some county officials think it's the local ones that are bringing people out. Only two county races on the November ballot are contested, a county commission seat and the circuit clerk position left open by the retirement of Karen Elkin last year. Republican candidate loyal Tyler Fortney will take on Pamela Starsick, who won the Democratic primary this year for the circuit clerk seat, and Democrat Richard Edmond is running for the county commission seat against Republican Lance Woodford. They are racing to replace commission president Larry Chapman, whose term is over at the end of the year. The Gilmer County Clerk's Office says the first days of early voting have had a higher than usual turnout for a midterm election. Election. Early voting closes next Saturday, November 3rd. Reporting in Glenville, I'm Alex Hines for 12 News.